Hi Maker Campers! Today we're making spinning lamps. And awesomely, this lamp has very simple components. In fact, I bet you've got almost everything you need already. First, we'll start with a plastic cylinder, which we've cut out from a 2 liter soda bottle. This will be the inner spinning part of the lamp. Then, we'll build a basic wood and vellum lantern for the outside of our lamp. And the absolute best part is that you can really let your creativity flow on this one. What design will spin and project? And what will your foreground be? The possibilities are literally endless. We're going to do an outdoor scene with the night sky. So let's get started. Be sure to check out the project step-by-step -step PDF for a full list of the supplies that you'll need. You'll see a natural seam at the bottom of your 2-liter bottle. Use your craft knife and follow along the seam and cut off the bottom of your bottle. Next, measure 5 inches up all the way around from the straight edge you just cut. This will give you a 5 inch tall cylinder. Now we're going to decorate our cylinder with star stickers. These will essentially act like a stencil. Next, we're going to paint the entire cylinder with our black spray paint. Let it dry completely. Now, let's build our lamp base. But before we assemble it, let's drill a hole for our lamp cord. Right in the middle of one of the longer side pieces. Now assemble your base using some wood glue. The long sides are 3 inches by 1 inch tall, and the short sides are 2 inches long by 1 inch tall. The bottom piece is 3 inches square. Now feed your lamp cord all the way through your hole. Give yourself a lot of room to wire up your lamp socket. Use your needle nose pliers to curve the ends of your wire. Make sure you read the instructions that came with your lamp socket. Most lamp sockets will have a brass screw and a silver toned screw. The brass screw is for your hot wire and the silver screw is for your ground wire. Put your wires in place and screw them down very tightly. All right, now feed your cable back through the hole and put your lamp socket inside the square. This square is five inches by five inches. Use your one and a half inch hole saw to drill a hole right in the middle of this square. Glue it down. After you put your glue on and before it dries, make sure you flip it over so that your 5x5 five five piece is perfectly squared with the base of your lamp. Measure out about a half or a quarter inch from the base of your lamp socket and then drill a hole for your 16 gauge wire. After you drill your hole, we're going to bend our wire. This wire will act as a stand for our inner spinning cylinder. The idea is that you want it to go right up the side of the light bulb, getting as close as possible but without touching, and then bend it over to the center of the light bulb, and then make another pin going straight up. Ours went up about 6 inches, over about oh, 2 inches, and then up another inch and a half. Use your wire snips to cut a point at the end of your wire. This will help your inner cylinder spin a little bit easier. Now, glue your wire in place. Screw your light bulb in and make sure that it's centered. You might need to fiddle with it a bit. Nice. Just right. Now we're going to make our flat turbine. This part's pretty easy. We're going to use a compass to make a perfect circle. You want it to overhang the edges of your soda bottle just a hair. Using a protractor and a ruler, divide your circle into eight equal parts. Then you want to mark down about a quarter of an inch from the edge on each line and then up from the center on each line about a quarter of an inch. Now we're just going to freehand our vents. This will serve as a guideline when we cut with our craft knife. We have eight vents but we're also going to add some little vents in between each of those eight vents. Poke a small hole in the center of your turbine. And we're going to use the bottom part of a snap. The pointy part of your floral wire will actually stick up inside that little snap nub and that's how your cylinder will spin. 
Now our inner cylinder is dry, so we're going to pick off our star stickers carefully using our craft knife. And using a low temperature hot glue gun, we'll attach our inner cylinder to our chipboard turbine. We'll make two sides of our frame first. These are about five inches wide by seven inches tall. Use different colors of tissue paper to create your design on your vellum. Use a glue stick to attach your designs to the vellum and then also use a glue stick to attach your vellum to the wood frame. Attach your vellum to the completed sides first and then do the second and fourth sides to just the top and bottom parts of the frame. We'll assemble it all together at the end. And finally, we're gonna attach the feet to the bottom of our lantern. This is half inch plywood that we just cut into one inch squares. And remember, you might have to fiddle with this a bit to get your lamp to spin pretty fast. Try opening and closing some of your vents. Try adjusting your floral wire. Just make sure that that inner cylinder is directly centered over your light bulb. You don't want that inner plastic shell to melt, and it will if it sits in one place for too long, so just keep your eye on it as you're tuning it. Nice work! Be sure to check out part two when we'll build another version of the spinning lamp, and this time you'll need your soldering iron. Remember campers, we always want to see what you're making, so don't forget to upload photos and videos of your projects to the Maker Camp community. Catch you next time!